So Matt Walsh's crew is trying to trick trans people into joining a fake documentary. His producers set up a whole front organization called Gender Unity Project and tried to recruit me into his next anti-trans documentary. Uh... The fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, this thread was posted the other day from Eli Ehrlich. She did like a full deep dive investigation on this Gender Unity Project uh, documentary and completely exposed the underlying just wild transphobic plot behind it. If you don't know who Matt Walsh is, the Daily Beast describes him as a far right troll. I think that's accurate. He has like a podcast and a YouTube channel. And I didn't know who he was until recently when he published Johnny the Walrus, which is a transphobic children's book. But yeah, his whole platform is just transphobia. Dude is obsessed. Which brings us to his Gender Unity Project documentary. So back to the original thread, she says it started with an email from the Gender Unity Project, who claimed to be doing a film on the trans community and gave names of well-known trans individuals and surgeons they had interviewed. She talked to the producer, McKenna Lynn Waters, on the phone. She sounded like a well-meaning cis film graduate who was just curious about the trans community. She claimed the documentary was self-funded. I was suspicious because she had finished college recently, but figured she was just rich. Who has that kind of money? I mean, yeah, that's pretty wild. It's possible for a person to be rich and just want to self-fund flying people out and all these interviews and equipment and stuff and editing and like the whole process of making a documentary which can be very expensive you're going to be putting thousands and thousands of dollars into just a passion project if that's what this is later she told me the person they were interviewing in chicago suddenly canceled this happens but is still sus yeah if people are just dropping out last minute that's a good indicator that something's going on i can see why these little red flags are being raised, and she's smart to have picked up on all this. Then she offered to fly me to Arizona. Again, the surgeon they were interviewing wasn't responding to them. Then finally, Nashville, where Matt Walsh lives. They sent me a release form this morning, which strangely didn't have the name of the company on it, so I looked up the Gender Unity Project. It used a registered agent to shield its owners. It's dubious, but sometimes registered agents simply make it easier to incorporate. Yeah, I would also say that like a self-funded documentarian wouldn't be registering a limited liability company under the name of their documentary film passion project like this is this is very sus and then on top of that not even having it under her own name then i looked mckenna lynn up her name didn't show up anywhere after some heavy searching i realized she used her middle name in our emails i found the imdb page of her real name mckenna waters it turns out she's matt walsh's producer she wasn't just a crew member for his show, she worked on over 200 episodes. I finally found her Twitter, which featured videos of Walsh and Shapiro doing their usual bullshit. <laughs> Bruh. This... Wow. The fucking Sherlock Holmes level investigation on this shit. I am in awe. I decided to look closer into the Gender Unity Project. After searching its state registration number, I learned that it was registered to Justin Folk, a far-right documentarian who works for Matt Walsh and PragerU. Holy fuck. And then a tweet from Matt Walsh, this year I will be waging an all out assault on gender ideology. We have been working on something that will make the Dr. Phil episode seem tame and boring by comparison. I can't say anything else about it, but it will change the conversation. We can win this battle. The wording is always so weird from them. They're like, it's, it's an attack on us, but we're waging an assault on them and we're gonna win the battle. Like if this was a going to war movie, the scene would be like them fucking putting on their war paint, plotting out their master plan. <laughs> and then cut to us like playing video games. I'm like trimming my butt hair, I don't know, doing my tee shot. Like they got this whole imaginary war happening in their minds and we're just chilling. Like there are states where I'm literally not allowed to take a shit, but I'm somehow oppressing you. Okay, that tight. No, yeah, makes sense. This year, Matt Walsh declared his assault on gender ideology. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Who knows how far he and his followers will go to attack, demean, and dehumanize trans people. So if you're contacted by these slimy assholes, don't respond. The last thing we need right now is another gotcha anti-trans documentary. Stay alert and take any media personalities with a grain of salt. And they say we're the ones tricking people. Your move, Matt Walsh. <laughs> like, damn.
First of all, major props to her for doing all of this, figuring it out and posting it and, you know, putting herself in a position to get a lot of hate from this guy who repeatedly will go after and, and dogpile his followers on anyone who talks negatively about him. So it's some pretty heavy shit. And like she said, there's no way of knowing how they're going to pivot and what they're doing next. I imagine with all of the time and effort and money they've put into this project and already have things filmed, they're not just going to drop it. Like, I think they're going to pivot and still try to do something with it. So yeah, heed that warning and just steer clear. Since this thread was posted, a lot of trans people have come forward saying they were also contacted for this. Samantha Lux was actually one of them. I imagine she'll probably put up a video about it. I'm excited to see that. There were also like literal trans children that he was trying to get involved in this, essentially trying to trick their parents into letting them be part of this documentary as well. He also tried to get Fallon Fox to be part of it. She's a trans MMA fighter and one that Joe Rogan talked about, so she just has already taken enough shit from these people, <laughs> man, leave her alone. So she did a video chat interview with them to feel them out first. Apparently they were really ignorant about trans topics and even sent her a follow-up apology after the video chat. And in the apology message, they're like, don't worry, I have a trans friend. <laughs> like you just can't make this shit up. Also the website itself is so sketchy. It's like, <laughs> these fucking stock photos, <laughs> a contact us bar at the bottom that doesn't work or they've removed the option to contact, and a total of five sentences on the entire website about what the fuck this is. And even those are weird as fuck. We aim to educate the public by leaning into the insights of experts, professionals, activists, influencers, and the real life experiences of those who identify as transgender. Come on. Like, you're not even being slick about it. Just to clue people in, like, people who actually know anything about trans people would just say trans people and not say, you know, those who identify as transgender. Because that, like, exact verbiage has been memed to shit and essentially just used now to invalidate trans people's identities. Like, you're not going to hear me say, I identify as a man. But you'll probably hear some transphobes say, I identify as an attack helicopter. Because that is the pinnacle where comedy and biology... <laughs> and irrefutable universal truths meet for them. <laughs> so they have a section that is our goal with that, and then under coming soon, our goal is to create a documentary that is both informative and interesting to all Americans. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Like, the only people who talk like that are the fucking right-wing patriot, like, we are Americans and we're doing this for all Americans. Our goal is to create a documentary that is both informative and interesting to all Americans. What? Okay. Yeah, no, that's how normal people talk. This shit is ridiculous. Like, not even trying to be slick about it, bro. I don't know what the fuck their next move is, but no doubt they're plotting. So yeah, don't let Matt Walsh and his crew trick you into flying out to him and being part of a transphobic documentary. Because chances are this does not end here, and I don't think his weird obsession with trans people is going away anytime soon either. So feel free to retweet that original thread to get the word out. You can also share this video, and giving it a thumbs up will help it out in the algorithm. But as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe out there, fam. Shit's wild. <laughs> Bye.